The gas to trap inside, some basaltic, some andesitic, and then the gas to trap and then try to escape then and then form the fractures like this. You can see this now the crack like this because of the, the gas escape. It was gas and then still uh, glowing, still glow at the time when landed and then grounded in the edges and then like uh, very quickly uh, solidified and then cool and then escaping gas like that. So now we can see this is the deposit of percussive flow which is a different layer. So actually this is from the first you know explosive eruptions and then uh, create you know a massive percussive flow and then still very hot about 800 until 900 degrees and the flow deposited here is the first but that was still hot and after the second the second percussive flow and then again yeah deposited like this and then layer it and then why this become red because here before still glow then yeah still hot temperature the kind of the silic which is contain ferromagnesia is uh, iron and magnesium which is uh, very dominant and then also this is by heat like this because this is the trap like this so here it trap that's why this is still hot then and then because the hot something hot that you know that influence the the rocks and then the material and then become you know change the color this is alteration. oxidation yeah oxidized and the alteration yeah like that this is the crater of Tom Paluan, which is in the evolution of complex, you know, complex of volcanic in, in Lokon. So this is, uh, was from in 1828, after first Empu with the uh, two craters, and then here, the peak of Lokon, also the, there is crater up there. These uh, lava bombs are quite a size. There's a great example here of a bread crust lava bomb fractures further as it cools. 